welcome to Ecoholics. In this video, we'll be understanding about the oligopoly. Now, we have learned different forms of market. We have done monopoly, we have done monopolistic competition, we have done perfect competition. Now, it is the time for the fourth form of market that is known as your oligopoly. Okay, so what we will be doing today, we'll be understanding the meaning. Ki actually, oligopoly hota kya hai? Okay, so we'll be understanding the meaning of oligopoly. We'll be understanding what is the meaning of duopoly. Now, this is a special case of oligopoly which we will be learning in our subsequent slides. But for now, remember, we'll be understanding duopoly. Uske baad, types of oligopoly. Uske baad, features and then we'll understand the summary. In summary part, what we will be doing, we'll be understanding all the forms of market and what exactly is the different features of all the forms of market. That is basically what we will do in the summary part. Okay. First thing, meaning. Let's understand ki oligopoly kya hota hai. Ab now, meaning. So, the term oligopoly is derived. Ye kis se bana hai? The term oligopoly is derived from two Greek words. The word, your first word is oligi. Oligi, oligi, it means few. So this means few. And pollen, pollen means to sell. Okay, oligi and pollen, which means oligi means few, pollen means to sell. Now, here by looking at these two terms and the meaning of these two terms, you can understand. And now you have fair amount of knowledge ki what do we do in the forms of market. So oligopoly is a type of market where we have few sellers. Okay, we have few sellers and oligopoly is derived from these two Greek words. One of them means oligi means few, polan means to sell. Cool, done. This point is clear, right? This point is clear. Now, oligopoly is a market structure in which there are only few sellers. Few sellers, there are only few sellers, but more than two. Here there are few sellers. And now when I say few, it does not mean ki there are only two sellers. There are more than two sellers of a homogeneous or differentiated product. Now, oligopoly somewhere lies between monopoly and monopolistic competition. Okay, so few sellers, there are few sellers, kuch sellers hai. And these sellers are selling homogeneous or differentiated products. I hope these two points, this whole slide is clear to all of you, right? Let's move further and understand ki this one, this point here is more elaborated definition of oligopoly and let's understand that. So oligopoly refers to a market situation. Now you all know it refers to a market situation in which there are few firms Okay, first striking feature is few firms selling homogeneous or homogeneous or differentiated products. This whole sentence is clear to all of you. Okay, I know that it is clear to all of you. Okay, moving further, oligopoly is sometimes, it is sometimes also known as competition of the few as there are few sellers. So this is written in very layman language. Okay, for you all to understand it very easily. So, oligopoly refers to a market situation in which there are few firms selling homogeneous or differentiated product. This whole meaning is now I have feeded it in your mind and you will not forget. I know that. Okay. And it is sometimes refers to competition among the few as there are few sellers in the market and every seller influence influences and is influenced by behavior of one or the other firm. So, pe, for example, there are few sellers. Okay, always remember more than two, not two, not one, more than two, few. There are few sellers. Okay, product, there are few sellers. So, whatever one firm or one firm does, it influences the production price output of other firms also because if he reduces the price, the consumers will go to that firm only. So that is the meaning ki if it 
it raises the output okay so output in the market will be influenced by that firm so kyunki there are few firms perfect competition mein kya tha there are large number of buyers and there were large number of sellers so the market was not influenced by the working of one particular firm okay but here in oligopoly remember this is like the most differentiating form feature of this oligopoly market where there are few firms or ek firm jo jo bhi karti hai price badhati hai ghatati hai aur output unka jaisa bhi rehta hai wo other firms ko bhi affect karta hai in terms of output and in terms of price okay and we'll understand ki they do not want basically to indulge into price war and this is a whole different concept and we'll be doing that okay आगे के वीडियोस में पढ़ेंगे कि क्या होता है कैसे इन्फ्लुएंस करते हैं कैसे इन्फ्लुएंस नहीं करती है बट फॉर नाउ रिमेंबर कि जो भी फ्यू फॉर्म्स में से जो भी वर्किंग और हैपनिंग होगी एक फॉर्म की या अदर फॉर्म्स की वो दूसरे फॉर्म्स को इन्फ्लुएंस करती है ठीक है एंड एग्जाम्पल ऑटोमोबिल सीमेंट स्टील एलुमिनियम एक्सेट्रा रिमेंबर दिस लाइट आई होप दिस लाइट इज क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू moving further duopoly okay it is a special case of oligopoly there are exactly two sellers and how do um you keep okay how do you understand ki here we are talking about only two uh, two sellers remember i had told you in my previous videos ki aap sirf heading ko pad lo half of the thing isko samajhne mein hame samajh mein aa jata hai theek hai do two okay two sellers there are two sellers exactly two sellers and remember this is the same reason ki hame oligopoly mein jab hum baat karte hain few sellers ki to hum nahi kehte ki wahan do sellers hai few matlab kuch bhi ho sakta hai par do se zyada hoga theek hai kyunki agar do hua to that form of market will be a special case of oligopoly that is your duopoly okay so this done special case of oligopoly completed exactly two sellers cool okay product sold by two firms is homogeneous and there is no substitute for it here you have to remember the product that is sold by these two firms are what it is homogeneous and there is no close substitute for this product because there are only two sellers theek okay? hai these two sellers are selling a product okay which is same it is homogeneous and being homogeneous and being only two form or two sellers in the market of this product there is no close substitute for it done do you want me to give an example yes i'll give an example now one such example is coca cola and pepsi these two have the major portion in the beverage in the cold beverage industry okay so remember coca cola and pepsi okay these two firms selling same homogeneous product and these two firms have almost major market share in the cold beverage industry okay coca cola pepsi cool done duopoly is completed okay 